European Union leaders have struck a deal on migration after almost 10 hours of talks in Brussels. It includes setting up centres to process asylum seekers arriving on European shores. Those eligible would then be sent to European countries willing to take them in. The exact details of the deal aren't that clear yet, however, it's been widely applauded. Italy's Prime Minister says he's satisfied with the terms and that his country will decide at a later stage whether it's prepared to host migrants and processing centers. Italy had earlier blocked an agreement urging fellow EU leaders to meet his demands on sharing the migration burden. Other members of the bloc have welcomed the deal. Overall, after an intensive discussion on the most challenging theme for the European Union, that is to say migration, it is a good sign that we could agree on a common text. The Austrian presidency will have a lot of work to do. We have agreed on five guidelines, but two are still lacking for a common European asylum system. But I am optimistic. We are not an island, and we must be able to face up to this challenge whilst remaining loyal to our values and protecting our people and national cohesion. We have taken an important step. Many predicted the impossibility of an agreement. Many predicted the triumph of national solutions. But we have succeeded in finding a European solution and a way of working in cooperation. Let's get you the latest on that now. I'm joined from Brussels by our correspondent Mariam Zaidi. Mariam, can you give us more details on that EU migration deal? Good morning from Brussels, Nina. Well, you know, first things first, the summit debutante Italy's new Prime Minister Conte made a glorious impact. He kept both leaders and most journalists up till the early hours of the morning, uh, with Italy, of course, vetoing the entire draft guidelines for the summit based on migration policy concerns on Thursday evening. It was a long night and one filled with takeout for EU leaders as they labored over trying to find this consensus, which, of course, they then did reach after a seven hour debate and those seven hours were of course extra to the uh, evening's proceedings. Now the European Council summit we know broke up around 4.30 in the morning local time. Now the deal yet to be finalized will of course look to create new centers on European soil for housing and processing asylum seekers and further collective solidarity was promised but it's voluntary solidarity again, so if that holds, well, we'll have to wait and see. Now, the deal, of course, does fall short of an overall agreement to revise the EU's uh, asylum rules, so no word on the Dublin regulation reform of common asylum rules, but it showed leaders were finally willing to find consensus on the bloc's most divisive issue and, of course, ease those political pressures, particularly on German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Now, what it does, of course, is to help those countries on the front line who mainly host these migration centres, plus centres will be fully funded by all EU states. Now, importantly, the centres also prevent that secondary movement uh, onto other countries. And so that seems to be the solution that even the anti-immigration Central European countries like Poland, the Czech Republic, Hungary and Slovakia, the Visegrad group, as they're so-called, who have supported this text. And importantly, it does seem to dispense with this idea that the EU would seek to farm out asylum to North Africa, uh, a move that was widely seen as inhumane. But of course, further collaboration with Libya is being pushed in these conclusions. So that does make you wonder. Uh, now, Mariam, this summit continues today. What's on the agenda? Well, on Brexit, uh, what we already know uh, is that leaders over breakfast have adopted their Brexit conclusions. Now, it's quite astonishing that it only took them a few minutes compared to the extra sort of seven hours they spent on this migration consensus. Perhaps they were just a little bit tired. Now, the conclusion uh, of those talks calls, well, it basically states that they have substantial uh, concern over the substantial lack of progress on the Irish border. Now, Michel Barnier, as he arrived today, uh, he is, of course, uh, the EU's uh, lead Brexit negotiator, and he said that he hopes that this UK white paper that Theresa May, the UK Prime Minister, promised uh, yesterday. Uh, in about a week's time will contain workable and realistic proposals. Now, Theresa May also last night had tried to push the other 27 EU leaders to unblock or move on working with the UK on security post-Brexit. But it seems that the only real concrete 
uh, thing that she was really given was the gift of a Belgian football shirt from Charles Michel, the Belgian Prime Minister. Um, and of course, yesterday you saw that divergence of perception of Brexit. Theresa May saying that progress was good. So, you know, today and what we've seen in these uh, conclusions on Article 50 on the Brexit process is that big steps, you know, aren't going to come. Uh, the EU will likely continue to fire off warnings to the UK to speed up their Brexit process, uh, plus add that, of course, that the UK can't have their cake and eat it. All right, Mariam, thanks very much for joining us. Mariam Zaidi in Brussels.